Right guys, so I'm bringing you another serious talk. Now, I was going to have this on several subjects, but I'm going to do another video for one of the subjects, and I'm going to do the video on suicide. Uh, I know Stephen did one as well, uh, his will be in the description below, but the main reason I'm doing mine is because I just read the news, which I very really do, because it's all doom and gloom, and it even still is, and there was a guy, uh, a 17-year-old in... Fife, which is the the kingdom with well, the county I'm from in Scotland, and he commits suicide because of an internet scam. And then you look at the people that uh, commit suicide due to Facebook or bullied at school or Ask FM, and it's just like you hear all these young people younger than me, which you know, granted I'm only 19, so I'm I'm not old or anything, but you know. People younger than me committing suicide over trivial matters that, quite frankly, could be sorted with a talk with a parent or a friend or, uh, you know, a, a close person to them. And please, don't commit suicide. If you're really feeling that bad, find someone to talk to. Whether that's putting in the comments of this video or private messaging me on Sky, uh, <coughs> YouTube or, you know a friend or your your parents or your uncle or whatnot just find someone to talk to it's not worth bottling up these trivial matters just for them to build and fester and get even worse to the point where you don't see any point in living anymore and it is somewhat going back to uh, the last episode where i did talk about bullying and it, i mean people are ourselves and it, the quicker you realize this the quicker you'll know that you really shouldn't pay attention to people if they've got nothing positive th uh, to say. I really don't pay attention to negativity. I, I'm always a negative person, simply because that's the way my life's kind of made me to, so so to speak, the clay's been moulded that way. But at the same time, if uh, I talk to someone who's having a hard time with something, whether it's bullying or... Uh, they're feeling a bit down or something, I'll talk to them and I'll ask them what's up and you can ask any of my friends that I talk to what's the first thing I say to them and if it's not hello it'll be how are you today or how are you and I do that because you know the majority of people I know if they've got something wrong with them you know I, I'm kind of it's better to talk about it than not. I, I like to laugh about my past. Uh, I used to cut myself and all that shit in the past so what I think is, you know, if somebody talks to me, I can help them out the best I can and, you know, talk them through what helped me getting out there and help them to sort it out, whether it is bullying or various other reasons like coming out of the closet or whatnot. Uh, these simple matters that, quite frankly, if you find a close net of friends, you will all, you'll have pretty much the protection you need or whether it is a parent or something. Uh, I do find it really sad how you hear all over the place that people commit suicide and I'd like to be able to say yeah this video will stop everything, it won't and I think the only way that we could stop people committing suicide is by way if you befriend someone on the internet, be friends with them, ask them how they're doing, uh, talk to them if they're feeling a bit down or if they've had a bad day or whatnot, because it's better for them to get it out than to bottle it up. Uh, a weird way to say it, but it's somewhat like if you've, uh, if you're holding a sneeze in. The more you hold it in, it's going to kill you. True story, bro. But anyway, uh, an another way to put it, you know, is if you shake a bottle of fizzy juice in and you open it, it's all going to explode out all at once. So it's better to let it out in little spurts. Yeah, just to get it out there, to get it fixed, and you know... It's better to come home from a bad day at school or work and talk to a friend and say, you know, I had a, I had a pretty bad day today, how are you? They'll say, oh, I'm not too bad, and then they'll ask you about your day, and, you know, you could tell them, and it's better to tell them no matter how trivial and, and little it sounds, you know, whether it is, oh, I stubbed my toe, or whether it's like, uh, oh, I got a brick thrown at me, you know, random things like that. It's always better to talk to uh, someone about it. And go, go back to what I said about, you know, if, for instance, if you're coming out the closet. The way I look at it is if you're going to come out the closet, the best way to do it when you're feeling ready to is to tell one friend. Start off with your best friend, the person you can trust with anything, and you tell them. And then if he takes it alright or she takes it alright, tell another friend. And, you know, build up a safety net of friends. And then 
if you feel really confident, you know, you've got like, say, seven or so friends behind you that you can trust, then come out to your pa your parents. Because, you know, you do hear stories about parents rejecting their kids when they've come out of the closet. And to me, I wouldn't give a fuck. I, if, if somebody came out of the closet to me, I'd be like, good for you, you actually found the confidence to come out. Well done. But then you, you hear that people, it's like, oh, they disown them, or pray the gay away sort of thing, or send them to a straight camp or a gay camp, whatever they're called. And I find this, it, it's really sad how we can't accept people as they are nowadays. Uh, considering, for instance, like, right now we're all about this, should gay marriage be allowed? And in my opinion, yes. We have free will. As humans, we have free will. And we should be able to exercise that free will as we want to. So we should be able to choose who our friends are, as we do. We should be able to choose what our job is, as we do. We should be able to choose who we spend our life with. Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. You choose. It shouldn't be a case of, oh, you, you're in love with your best friend, you're both going out together, but you can't get married. I don't understand that. Why you can't get married, regardless of the person you love. Granted, it might be it's against the church. Fuck off, seriously. I'm agnostic. I'm not Christian or whatnot. I I'm in a Christian community and all that jazz. But I sort of feel like, honestly, if a religion, which is a belief factor, if that, if your religion doesn't allow you to be who you are, then fuck the religion. Find one that will allow you to be who you are. It's sort of like, you know, if you have a best friend and they don't like you for, I don't know, your black hair, for instance, or your, your blonde hair, and this person doesn't like you for that, then don't change yourself. Tell them to fuck off. I mean, it's the only way I can look at it. But anyway, guys, the, the model of this, this video is to basically find someone to talk to, tell them about your problems in your day, don't bottle it up, regardless of how small it seems. Just tell someone about what's bothering you, they can help you sort it out, you can uh, leave a comment on this video and tell me your problems or you can PM me on YouTube and I will help you the best I can. Uh, leave a like guys, hit that share button, get this video out there, Steven's link will be in the description below. I hope you enjoy the content on my channel and please pay attention to the messages I'm trying to throw out there in the serious top videos. Goodbye.